What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Momo from Duck Bobby Jacobs and today I just want to go over basic mid fade tutorial for stray thick hair like my client right here because I just got a new hair clippers and I'm still getting used to it and I just want to see how it works so without further ado, shall we start? Boss. Alright, I'm gonna start off with what in my client's hair because the hair is growing all over the place and I want to make sure all the hair is laid flat before moving on to haircut and also I use comb to kind of like section into areas and parts so that we can have very good base for the haircut. So yeah, I'm, I'm just using number 3 guard, level all the way open, to kind of like take off the bulk before creating an initial guideline and start fading so that I can clearly see my guidelines as, I, as I'm going up so you know this is just also again once again this is just to create a good base for the haircut alright so I'm taking out my trimmer right now and I'm gonna create my initial guideline somewhere in the middle of C cut and it goes around the head of course but I'm kind of like dropping at the back because you know I don't want it to be too up and high too high up at the back so I'm dropping out a little bit goes around the head and of course after creating the initial guideline I'm gonna take off the bug with my trimmer you know make it everything clean and neat and if you're new to my channel why don't you hit that subscribe button right now because I'm trying to make it to 2,000 subscribers by the end of this year 2020 we're almost there right now it's like we have like 1500 something like that we just need 500 more yeah if you manage to reach 2000 by the end of this year i'm gonna do a giveaway for one of my clippers because i order like a bunch of hair clippers so stay tuned so i'm using this kma km 2024 which i previously review on these on my channel if you haven't checked it out check it out right now but uh, I'm using this to kind of like bald out a spot, bald out the, the bulk. I mean, I'm just using the weight of the trimmer, weight of the shaver. I'm not digging in too much because it's really hard to take it off later. So I'm just lightly using my wrist to, you know, just making a clean transition at the end. This is just very optional, but I, I like to do it so because it gives it a clean look at the end. Alright, so take out your hair clippers right now and I'm going up one inch with no guard level all the way open. And this time I'm gonna do something different because I normally like to blend in as I in every step. So when I create the second guideline, I blend the first guideline. But this time I wanna create all the guidelines first and then erase every dark spot or dark line later so what do you call it do we call it fade down or fade up I, i'm not quite sure the term but this is something new because i usually like to just flick out the line as i go up but i want to leave all the line i just want to create all the guidelines first and then flick out the line at the end which is completely new to me and we'll see how it goes like i mentioned um, instead of flicking out the first guideline, I'm gonna create my third guideline with number one guard, level all the way open, go up on about an inch once again, 2.5 centimeters, goes around the head as consistent as possible. And I feel like this hair clipper is very powerful compared to KMA 1987 because it cuts really, really sharp. I feel like the motor speed is really, really fast and strong and powerful. So. I just have to watch out how much I'm taking off the bulk because it's it's kind of late if you take off the bulk you can't undo it so I'm just very being careful and I'm still used to hair clippers so we'll see how it goes all right so I'm taking out number two guard level all the way open and this time I'm trying to blend in to the top of his hair uh, by just going up, but then I'm not digging in too much. I'm like releasing my wrist as I'm going up, so I'm trying to blend in. Ok 
okay now we're gonna start blending down and first we're gonna start off with the top guy line so i'm putting number 1.5 guard level all the way open to kind of like a connect the fade into the hair on the top which i've created kind of with number two guard level all the way open and i'm closing the lever as i'm going down so that the blend is nice and smooth <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna blend down the second guy line with 0.5 guard lever halfway open. Honestly, I find it very difficult because I always feel like I'm going up too high and I'm creating another guy line. Blending down method is pretty difficult. I need more practice on these. And also because like this, I, this is my first time basically using this hair clippers and I'm still used to this taper blade, you know, it, it's very powerful. It knocks off a lot of hair at the at the same time, so I need a lot of practice on this. But I'm I'm trying my best, and I'm gonna keep working on blending. There's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of space for me to improve. So we'll get there one day. Alright, so this is gonna be a last one, last guy line. This is the very initial guy line we've created with the tremor. So no guard, level all the way closed, and we're just gonna flick out the bottom line. And as I'm going up, I'm opening up the lever just a halfway, you know, just to blend in the top. And it's also, yeah, it's really hard to like blend in smooth because like I don't remember where was the second guy line to blend into so i feel like i'm always going maybe too low or maybe going too up high it's super difficult i respect those barber who does it this this way i personally like to go up you know fade up so you create a guy line and blend in the line and go up the line i mean go up the guy line and blend in another that way so i know how much i'm taking off so that's my method Yeah, so I'm just gonna clean up the top of his hair and uh, line up and it should be done. Alright guys, my client walk into my shop looking like this first and then boom, this is the cut. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below what you think. I honestly think this type of hair is super difficult to cut. This is one of the hardest texture to fade, you know, have like a perfect blending. I wouldn't give myself 100 on this. I wouldn't give myself not even 80. I'll say 50, 60%, but I have a lot to improve. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do right now. I hope to see you very soon. Stay safe. Boss.